Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be making an awesome keto Thanksgiving side dish. I don't know about y'all, but I am so ready for the holidays this year. I have been in the holiday spirit and I cannot wait to make some delicious food. So I wanted to make y'all's Thanksgiving just that much more easier. Being on keto, we know we gotta make a lot of things from scratch and adjust a lot of recipes and make some substitutes. So I wanted to make an easy stuffing for y'all. For today's video, we are going to be making a keto cauliflower rice and sausage stuffing. It is delicious, y'all. It's full of flavor, very quick and easy to make, and I'm pretty sure you already have some of these ingredients on hand. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video. We're gonna start by cooking down our ground sausage for our stuffing. I have my pan over medium heat getting nice and hot, and I have one pound of ground sausage right here. We're gonna cook our sausage all the way through, and I am using original flavor. If you would like to change up your, fit, your flavors, that's totally up to you, but this is just original. And I personally like to take one of these and just make sure the meat gets all nice and broken apart so you don't have any big chunks. I will link this in the description below for y'all. Trust me, it comes in handy. I absolutely love this thing, especially for sausage like this and ground beef. It gets it all nice and fine. Okay, I got my sausage all nice and cooked through. If you happen to have like a lot of extra grease or fat at the bottom, very little is fine, just like this. You may wanna go ahead and drain it just so it's not too greasy. With our heat still on a medium high heat, we're gonna add in some onion. I am adding in one cup of chopped white onions. Mix that in, we're gonna get them all nice and tender. Just give it a few minutes, about four minutes. After a few minutes of your onions getting nice and tender, they should be translucent. We're gonna go ahead and add in eight ounces of white sliced mushrooms. Just give this a good mix and we are going to cook these down until tender. While the mushrooms are cooking down, we're also adding in three cloves of garlic chopped. You do wanna keep stirring every couple minutes just so everything gets cooked evenly. At this point, your house just smells so amazing. I absolutely love the way everything in this pan is smelling. Everything is getting nice and tender, our mushrooms. We're gonna go ahead and start seasoning midway through. First, we're gonna go ahead and go in with some salt to taste, and you can adjust your salt as you go. Some black pepper. And one more seasoning we're gonna go in with for right now is one teaspoon of poultry seasoning. We're gonna go ahead and mix our seasoning in. I'm gonna give this a couple more minutes just for the mushrooms to cook all the way through. Okay, after a couple minutes of all these delicious flavors coming together, your mushrooms are tender and everything is cooked through, let's go ahead and add in our cauliflower rice. I am adding in four cups of rice cauliflower. We're gonna give the rice cauliflower a little bit of flavor, so you wanna add some more salt and some more black pepper. If you would like to add some more poultry seasoning just to up the flavor a little bit, you can as well. Go ahead and mix your cauliflower rice into your ground sausage and your mushrooms. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like Thanksgiving in my house, guys. <laughs> I am so ready for this. So we're gonna go ahead and let this cook down for about five minutes until your cauliflower is nice and tender. 
My cauliflower rice has been cooking down for a couple minutes now, but right in the middle of it cooking down, we're gonna add some more flavor to this. We're gonna go ahead and go in with one fourth cup of chopped fresh sage. Guys, I highly recommend to use fresh. It just brings the flavors up that much more and it's so delicious. So I went ahead and just sliced it into very sliced slices like this and go ahead and add it into your stuffing. We're gonna go in with some parsley flakes for color as well. I'm gonna add in about one tablespoon and go ahead and cook this down for a remainder about three minutes just until the sage gets nice and tender and all those delicious flavors come out. Oh guys, it smells so good. And remember, do taste your cauliflower just in case you need to adjust the salt or pepper. And after a few minutes of cooking, everything should be cooked through nice and tender. It should be very flavorful. We're gonna go ahead and let this cool down and serve it right up. How quick and easy was this, guys? And I'm telling you right now, this smells so good. So y'all are going to absolutely love this stuffing. All right, y'all, I let it cool down for a few minutes and served it right into my dish. I did garnish it with some fresh sage, and I really hope y'all enjoy this delicious, quick and easy recipe for Thanksgiving. It will pair so good with some turkey and some cauliflower mash, so I really hope you and your family enjoy it. All right, guys, you already know we have to serve up ourselves a bowl and give this a try because I'm ready for this. This smells so good. I am ready to dig in. I cannot wait. So I got myself a little serving. All right, let's try it. I can smell that fresh sage. I can smell the ground sausage. Mmm. <sighs> this delicious. I can literally stand here and just eat this by itself. We got the perfect balance in here with the fresh sage. I highly recommend to go in with the fresh. Do not use the pre-chop because it is like a different take on a flavor. Then we have the delicious flavor from the ground sausage. The cauliflower rice is nice and cooked through. And then I love the chunkiness of the fresh mushroom. So I highly recommend to leave them nice and chunky. But this is awesome. It only took a few minutes, a very minimal ingredients that you would definitely have around your house. We have so many other things to make on Thanksgiving. So when I can make an easy stuffing, this is going to be my go-to. So delicious. And guys, I do have another video from last year on another keto stuffing, but it is using a bread replacement. So if you're someone that likes the stuffing with a bread and not so much like cauliflower rice, I do recommend that stuffing as well. It will pop up at the end of this video for y'all to click on, but I do recommend both. I don't know, I'm someone that wants like different options on stuffing. So if y'all happen to make any one of these stuffings or both of them, definitely head on over to my Facebook and post some pictures on Thanksgiving. I would definitely love to see y'all's Thanksgiving plates. All right guys, who's gonna invite me for over for Thanksgiving right now? I got the stuffing, who's making the turkey? Cause I'm ready. <laughs> but I really hope y'all enjoy today's video guys on this awesome recipe and do give it a try. Don't forget to head on over to Facebook, follow me there and Instagram. They will be linked in the description below. I would love to see y'all Thanksgiving plates and y'all remaking this awesome stuffing. But with that being said, I will see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button and I really hope y'all have an awesome awesome holiday.